Hi, Alfonso. Thank you very much for joining us today. Could you please introduce yourself and Red Hat? Well, thank you for giving us the opportunity to talk to you today. I'm Alfonso Navio. I'm the business strategist for financial services in the EMEA region for Red Hat. Uh, we Red Hat, we are the leading open source company and we provide basically technological solutions, you know, for all kinds of companies. But in my case, I take care of the financial services industry. Due to global pandemic, Cybos has held virtually this year. Could you please briefly comment what Red Hat expects from this year's event? What are the hot topics that will be raised during the online sessions? So, well, Cybos is one of the world's most relevant financial services uh, events. And, you know, as such, it brings together business leaders, decision makers and experts, you know, from all across the financial ecosystems. So for us, Red Hat, this makes Cybos the, the perfect platform to collectively shape the future of, of the financial services industry. So that's kind of like our expectation. And of course, networking. Networking all, always played a very important role here at Cybos, you know, with opportunities to catch up with old colleagues and connect with new business partners. And this year, maybe because it was virtual and we had more attendees than usual, uh, maybe, you know, like a bigger opportunity with a wider pool of, of delegates, you know, throughout the, the different companies. In terms of the topics that we, we have covered at Cybos, well, our motto this year is continuous innovation in the cloud, but the open source way. What we have seen or we have realized is that the world has transformed and companies, especially in the financial services industry, must uh, simplify their, the use of the technology, which is also impacting the organizational culture and they need to be more agile and, and be able to, to better meet the changing, ever-changing customer demands. So at the end of the day, the common challenge that, that we see across financial services is you know, the need to take a, an oil tanker and make it into a speedboat. And you know, with Red Hat, we are here to, to help uh, these clients uh, meet uh, these needs. In terms of the sessions we, we were promoting this year, are uh, best practices in cultural change and collaboration to lead financial organizations forward, led by Nick. And, and another session led by uh, Lucy, it, it was about the cyber resource problem, is it totally unsolvable? So as you can see, we were covering both this cultural change you know, needed and also the need to, to be secure, you know, which was always important, but now more than ever. So what impact has COVID-19 pandemic had on your business? Are the main trends that prevailed prior to the pandemic still in place? Yeah, well, the, the, the pandemics and not only the pandemic, but also the, the events, you know, of last uh, past year have changed uh, the, the, the perspective, you know, and, and are driving huge change uh, across the world. While specifically financial services has not been the industry most affected by the pandemic. So we can say it's not either on the winners or losers, you know, like compared to like travel and tourism, for example. The thing with banks is like they provide a financing, you know, to all sorts of companies. And as we've seen the default rates, the bad loans, they're increasing. And of course, that's having an impact on, on banks and their profit and loss uh, accounts. Uh, in terms of us, Red Hat, we were already, you know, used to a very open and collaborative uh, open culture. You know, we were quite used to remote working. Nevertheless, we're, we're missing, you know, the, the, the personal contact, you know, meeting face to face in the same room with uh, customers and colleagues. But, but then again, you know, the, the, the employee um, safety, you know, is, is, is paramount to us. So we are adapting to this new, new reality. Uh, in terms of uh, the, the main trends, we, we believe that the pandemic only has acted as an accelerator. So accelerator of some trends that were already there in the, in the market, like for example, cloud technology adoption, automation, uh, artificial intelligence. So just as an example, the, the, all the existing branch network of banks was not sustainable even before the pandemic, but now with this, um, Swift to all the digital channels, of course, have accelerated the, the, with the widespread lockdowns of millions of people across all geographies. Now, you know, people are almost not going to the branches. They're just using digital channels. And then again, the financial services industry was already in the middle of a great uh, change based on digital transformation and adopting data-driven business models. So this pandemic has only 
accelerated those trends. What product or service are you showcasing at Cybus 2020? Well, this year we are showcasing our open hybrid cloud solution uh, that's called OpenShift. And uh, what, what, what it does is basically provide an abstraction layer to all your IT infrastructure. So you don't have to worry where you want to, to deploy your applications, that being the public cloud, private cloud, on-premise data centers. And, you know, you've got it all covered and have the flexibility. We are also uh, showcasing our cloud native development solutions, like, you know, just to name a few, JBoss middleware that lets developers work more efficiently and deploy their applications and services faster so that you achieve a faster time to market. And of course, all our integration suite, basically the Diffuse the auto integration suite, which is a distributed cloud native integration platform together with our API management called 3Scale. Automation, which we mentioned is also paramount, you know, and it's a big trend. We offer the Ansible automation platform, which allows you to automate all kinds of uh, IT infrastructure. And of course, as the foundation, we've got uh, our famous Red Hat Enterprise Linux or RHEL, which is the, you know, the, the core operating system that provides this uh, secure foundation to, to the core in order to, to have uh, the best app infrastructures. What is the latest news about Red Hat? Well, we have been recently named a leader in this uh, Q3 Forester's multi-cloud container development platform. So they ranked uh, OpenShift in the top position for our lead in the market presence, our strategy and innovation roadmap. To us, uh, this is a very important recognition of uh, our leadership and also involvement in this container and Kubernetes development process. Another news that the we have very recently as well launched a, what we call the Red Hat Accelerators, which is a customer advocacy program. And we are basically offering peer-to-peer -peer networking with like-minded Red Hat practitioners to foster and deeper the learning of, you know, not only of the usage of our various products and technologies, but also to share between them and with us their use cases and, and issues. Because at the end of the day, technology has to know the, the, the business and the business issues that it's going to, to solve. So that's why we created this uh, Red Hat Accelerators uh, program. And so lastly, what is next for Red Hat and the fintech community? Well, uh, banks and fintechs are definitely moving the world forward through innovation and open source is uh, at the core of, of the collaboration. So basically the principle is that through collaboration in communities, the best solution will prevail. So by working collaboratively with other industries to deliver financial services to you know, places where services are needed, banks can open new lines of businesses and of course, new revenue streams. And that is why we have joined the, the FinTech Open Source Foundation, who it's a non-profit organization promoting open innovation in the financial services community. We are providing OpenShift as the underlying technology for this FinTech open source foundation so that you know, all the open developer platform and you know, enables the collaboration through this ecosystem of community-driven projects and working groups that are focused, of course, on delivering solutions for, for financial services. Uh, we believe that our core value proposition as Red Hat is taking the best of the innovation in the upstream communities and then making sure that it is enterprise ready to be consumed and secure at the same time so companies get the best of both worlds to get the best of innovation and in a kind of like secure and ready to be consumed way.